Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Uh, so glad that you stopped in. Uh, hit the like button if you like and please, please subscribe. It does help my channel. And um, here we go with our first article. This is a redo on this video and somehow the title got on another video while it was processing or before it started to process while it was downloading. I have no idea how that happened. <laughs> and I thought everything was going along just fine, but no. So let's see what we got here. Let's do this again. And this is another one of uh, Biden's ideas. And Biden pardons people convicted of federal marijuana possession. On Thursday, President Joe Biden announced his intention to pardon some federal marijuana offenses, which may have asserted in just another cynical attempt to satisfy criminal justice and drug policy activists, especially because Biden sponsored the 1994 crime bill that led to mass incarceration for drug-related offenses while he was a senator. As I often said during my campaign for president, no one should be put in jail just for using or possessing marijuana, the president said in a statement released by the White House. Biden continued by adding that marijuana crimes has upended too many lives and announcing his plan to pardon all prior federal offenses of simply possession of marijuana, blatantly sidestepping the authority of Congress to control federal laws relating to illegal drugs. The president had directed Attorney General Merrick Garland to design a system to pardon all eligible individuals, stating that the number of pardons would be in the thousands. My action will help relieve the con collateral consequences arising from these convictions, Biden said, likely referring to the convictions eff effects on a person's ability to find housing and jobs. While the president's plan to pardon individuals convicted of marijuana possession will only apply to federal offenses, Biden did not did go on to urge state governments to take similar action. I thought marijuana was a drug. I can remember reading, oh, a long time ago, years ago, where this young man was high as a kite and he thought he could fly so he jumped off of a 20 story building I guess it was 20 story I can't remember so long ago but he jumped off of something and he didn't live to tell about it just no one should be in federal prison solely due to the possession of marijuana no one should be in a local jail or state prison for that reason either, he stated. Biden also noted that he will be taking action to have the federal government reclassify marijuana to a lower category compared to other controlled substances. I always thought a drug was a drug. Am I wrong again? Too many lives have been upended because of our failed approach to marijuana, he said. It's time that we right these wrongs. Yeah, dope more people up. That's just exactly what we need. The president also sent out a Twitter thread about his plan. As I've said before, no one should be in jail just for using or possessing marijuana. Today I'm taking steps to end our failed approach. Allow me to lay them out, Biden began. He went on to discuss the consequences that these convictions have had on individual lives, saying that his actions will remove this burden. What about the ones that die high as a kite? Driving cars high as a kite and have a wreck and kill an innocent person. First, I'm pardoning all prior federal offenses of simple marijuana possession, Biden tweeted. There are thousands of people who were previously convicted of simple possession who may be denied employment, housing, educational opportunities as a result. My pardon will remove this burden. That's what we need is drug people high as a kite in a classroom trying to learn a lesson. Okay. Another treat, he reiterated 
his call for states to take similar action, writing, Second, I'm calling on governors to pardon sim simple state marijuana possession offenses, just as no one should be in a federal prison solely for possessing marijuana. No one should be in a local jail or state prison for that reason either. Third, we classify marijuana at the same level as heroin, but more serious than fentanyl, Biden added. Now, I'm a little contradictory there, or he is. Third, we classify marijuana at the same level as heroin and more serious than fentanyl, Biden added. It makes no sense. I'm asking at Sec Becerra and the Attorney General to initiate the process of reviewing how marijuana is scheduled under federal law. The President did make sure to note that even while regulations regarding marijuana may change at the federal and state levels, we still need important limitations on trafficking, marketing, and underage sales of marijuana. Biden then concluded his Twitter thread by bringing up race in context with convictions. Now, I'm sure that all those that cross the border of the cartel, they sell marijuana, don't they? Don't they get rich off of that? Sending people to jail for possessing marijuana has upended too many lives for conduct that is legal in many states. That's before you address the clear racial departities around prosecution and conviction. Today we begin to right these wrongs, he wrote. YouTuber Tim Poole discussed the issue during an episode of his live show, Timcast IRL, soon after the news broke. Some of his guests asserting that this pardon only applies to a small number of individuals, arguing that it's just a publicity stunt. Well, he needs voters, Biden does, don't he? So let's let the prisoners out now. <clears throat> Open up the jail doors. Biden needs your votes. <clears throat> Next. Oh, I wish I could understand a lot of stuff that I just don't understand. Biden uses Hurricane Ian to push climate change agenda. Now this is really sad. Now this tells you exactly what the president's made out of. So read it good. While Floridians are trying to deal with the aftermath of Hurricane Ian, President Joe Biden has chosen to publicize the devastation of the storm to talk about climate change, said Representative Greg Stubel, Republican from Florida, during a Wednesday appearance on Newsmax Prime News with Jean Pellegrino. Stubel called out Democrats like Biden for using every opportunity and every tragedy to try to push their agenda. Now that, to me, is very sad. <clears throat> That man don't have a heart, does he? Only for what he wants. Reacting to the president's speech in Florida, the Republican congressman said, they use every opportunity and every tragedy that we have going on in this country to try to push their agenda on the American people. And this is no exception. During his speech, Biden told reporters the biggest thing this government has done, and some of the others have done, they've recognized this thing called global warming the world is changing. Stubbe was visibly annoyed by the president's comments, arguing that Biden is using Hurricane Ian to push the left's climate change agenda while people are suffering. Mm, pardon me. So we're going to talk about climate change when people literally still have their homes flooded? The Florida congressman asked. We're still trying to rescue people, do search and rescue missions, and he's going to use the opportunity to try to talk about climate change. And we can look at all the statistics and all the numbers. This isn't due to climate change. This is just due to the fact that we had a major hurricane hit our state. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> now, 
you know, Florida and the coast of California and the coast of Florida and all around, they're used to this these storms and the tragedy that follows them. This has been going on since the world was built. Come on, Biden, knock, knock, anybody home? Are you in there? It was a tremendous hurricane that hit our country. We should be focused on saving people, getting people food and water, getting them energy, getting them fuel, and getting them back on their feet, Stubby added. And of course, the Democrats want to take this as an opportunity to publicize their agenda. Rather than focusing on politics, Stubby, like many leaders in Florida, have been spending his time surveying the damage, talking with Florida residents affected by the hurricane, providing updates on the state's recovery from the damage caused by the cate Category 4 storm. Bless his heart. God love him. You know, what does Biden think he is? Does he think he is God? Do you remember that song, He's Got the Whole World in His Hands? I love that song. It was beautifully written. Now, does Biden think he's God? And he's got this whole world in his hand and he's going to change everything? Does that man dream at night? Are these just dreams that he's having? That he's portraying to everybody all over the world? Oh my goodness, have mercy on our souls. I just don't get it. I keep saying that and I'm sorry. He's not going to change Mother Nature. Mother Nature came with this world. I don't like to tell him that. But Mr. Biden, Mother Nature came when the world was built. Hello? Oh, I get so upset. Well, I'm going to try the second time to download this video now with the right title on it and um, I'll be back I'm going up here and get my video button I'll be back in just a few minutes